G'day, this is Ozeko playing EU4 Common Sense as England, and we've just finished this nasty war with France where we didn't get everything we wanted, but we got cause, so yeah, it went pretty damn well. The war exhaustion was an issue though, so we're going to try and stay at peace for, I don't know, however long it takes, probably at least a decade to start getting everything back in order again. Our uh, truce with Friesland has ended. Well, actually, you know what then? That means... Oh. Yeah, screw it. New England. New England can go to war with them. Uh, where are we going? This one. New England. Started playing a war. Damn it, they're not touching. Alright, forget it then. Little Britain? Spanish Canada, of course. Oh, the people of Meath have been granted a seat. Fine, good for them. All right, Little Britain, Spanish Canada, go. That shouldn't take too long. Uh, British West Indies, can't do anything. All right, yes, we're still trying to clean up. They're just crap down here. All right. Did I really tell him to attack? Pretty sure I did not. Whatever. Pretty sure I just told this guy to come over here and not get into any battles. Come on, Panama Stride. Freaking doing it again. Go that way, you dumbass. Yeah. Alright. Sacramentarians. We will lose church power. Thank you. Got too much. Uh, what was I looking at? Wars. Uh, yeah. So, New England, Little Britain, yeah. West Indies can't. Middle Britain. No. Texas. Zapotex. Britain gets stern theologian. Uh, yep. Go with the tolerance. Thank you. Middle Britain's doing the job down there. Uh, why not? Go for it, buddy. Zapotec there, isn't it? Uh, no, there. No. Oh, look. Wherever that. That'll die. Uh, yep. Go. Alright. Okay. Yep. Uh, skinny Britain? Has no one to declare on. That's fine. Alright. You. So does Zapotec. So. Alright. Um, well, we can't declare because the guys are busy. That's fine. Let's try and get over there. I don't think we'll make it before they take the province. It's going to be bad. They'll get 10 years of separatism. And yeah, Lithuania wants Ursul. Nice of them. Managua. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so yeah, we didn't make it there in time. Oh, unrest is still negative. No, they count towards the recent uprising. All right. It's just this whole area. All right, do we really care? No, I don't. Um, go back here. So what I was going to do next was actually build couple of frigates because they're fast. Say there, there, and there. Come on. Come on game. Alright, not actually there because their unrest is making it take too long. So these three. Yeah, go for three. And they are going to go and discover Australia because we need to create the most important colony in the world. Obviously. All right, you can't get on, bud. Zoo separatists. Everyone's just, yeah, come down here, guys. Texas. All right, go to speed four. Yeah, somebody hiding in there. Is it Portugal? Oh, I don't know, it looks a different color. What's this? Our war exhaustion is high. Yeah, no crap. 
probably go down. What's that? Um, a hundred and... Well, that's monthly, isn't it? Uh, 134 months. 10 years, yeah. All right, chuck a child. Again, won't get there in time, so let's just roll around grabbing these other ones while we get the manpower back. Which, yeah, it's the other reason for the long piece. 46,000 manpower debt. Need to let our colonies do some of the heavy lifting for a while. Really do with some more forts down here too. If... It's fine. Alright. Guatemala. Wow, Sweden actually still really likes us. Poland's doing good too. They helped out with the war a bit. Did quite good against France, I think. They pieced out a bit early, but hey, you get that. Uh, we get to defend. Awesome. So, let's actually make sure we are at full strength. Oof. Yeah. Might go poorly, but we've got a leader, so we'll see. that off now. The Jews separatists are gone. These separatists are gone. Just got to seize provinces back. Um, who's that? Freaking Spanish Canadians. Yep. Alright, you go there and you can stay there. Don't keep here in bay now. And looks like those armies dead. So, where everyone went off to. But, yep. At some point, these will get sieged back and it'll be all good. All good in Texas anyway. Uh, there were some issues down here, I believe. In the south of Skinny Britain. Yeah, they're sorted out as well. Awesome. Alright, there goes the last one. So, Creeping Death. Might as well keep marching up. Instead of waiting for someone else to do it. We can get military tech. Slightly ahead of time. We can wait here. Native Assimilation. KN. KN has not many. Good. Like the wood's nearly done. Awesome. So, the next colonial. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, next colonial things we were going for were down here. Try and make the new colonial nation here, and then probably won't be ready before, but, you know, we'll start feeding these to them once it's a colonial nation. Should be good. The, uh, what are we going to call English Brazil? Hmm. Don't know. I have to think of something. Have to get the fire first. And he's actually been a cheeky bugger. Portuguese are still colonising there. Interesting. British Moon. The garden inn is bathed in the cool light of a full moon. Uh, yeah, okay. Turning a corner to come across this site was not what you would have expected, but here it is. Before you stands a monument to British conquest of Arawak. The beauty lies not in the exquisite marvel, or even in the craftsmanship of the thing, but in the fact that even now, many years later, the monument is still strewn with thousands and thousands of fresh flowers. Here, if nowhere else, the memory of British conquest of Arawak and the memories of the fallen still lives. May the memories live on for prestige, or our solo sorrow proves the justness of our cause for admin. Uh, we don't need prestige, we'll take some admin power, thanks. Okay. So, which of these natives are going to be more deadly? Yep, the one that the army's in. Cool. Which means... Seven islands, seriously? That sounds like an annoying place. We'll send these guys down here somewhere. They can... Well, they've got no infantry. Well, no. They can go there. 
All right, seven islands are not islands. Good. Little Britain peasants. Not our problem, really. And these guys will go take care of them. Hopefully, they'll realize they're supposed to take that as their own. All right, Galicia, now Protestant. Now General is dead. Of course he is. Uh, the occupation of Texas. Awesome. Go split. Go up there. Go there. Split and go there. Tuintsunde. All right. What's it done? So you go there. You go there. Next we will convert. Oh, I have no idea. Calais. Calais shouldn't be Catholic. Proper English land. Okay. And actually, you know what? We will take Defender of the Faith. Go to more wars if we have to. And we'll convert. Say, Picardy. Okay. Good. Uh, military, not yet. It's only infantry shock, so it's not worth paying more for yet. War exhaustion, yeah, we got it. Oh. Gonna have to buy it down. Ninety-three. Alright. Well, some of these will tick down now. This, this one, Cape Verde. Need to take care of them. Alright. Border friction. Sweden's opinion. Oh crap. Well, Sweden's opinion is pretty high, so I think we can afford to lose some. Should be fine. Alright, not this one. These three. Need a leader who will be a explorer. Yep. Benjamin Suffolk. Buddy, you are going. Go to Japan. Explore the coast of Australia. Go, okay, buddy. Now, each, well, actually, let's have a look. Should have supply most of the way there. Because we've got territory here. So, Galicia is the closest to there. Now, Madeira is the closest. Cape Verde's the closest. Cape Verde's still the closest, but he loses some. So, White R. We have actually not started coring yet. Yeah, we have started. All right, well, we're gonna need the cape later. And the great Karoo. Good. All right, ready to go. So I don't think we've caught any of those other ones yet. So we should probably hold him off for a while. But I don't want to. So yep, Cape Verd. Cape Verd. Yeah, once we get these cored, we'll be able to get all the way out. So, I don't think he's going to actually survive. It's only six months. Yeah, we'll give him a go. You can do it, buddy. Just find a bit of Australia. We'll do the rest. Alright. Aragon. Oh, so many things we could go and conquer now. Alright. Afrobane. Afrobane is a Restoration Era English writer and one of the first English women to make a career out of it, but she has a secret. She is also a spy for our ruler. As a writer, she focused on popular works that tend to enhance the status quo and also revel in the new freedoms of entertainment in post Puritan England. As a spy, she works in the Netherlands to seek out regicides that may have been plotting against the new regime. Ben works to turn Puritans into double agents for the monarchy and uses her pen to attack parliamentary enemies of the king. Awesome. Recall her from action, make her an advisor. No. 
Give this a close secret. Time to fabricate claim goes down by 25% for 20 years. Awesome. All right, lip on. So you gotta remember we should do the, um, so let's start doing it now. 12 more. Uh, yeah, we'll return him home. And the polish one. Can do a lot more. Let's return him home. Sugar, whatever. So, he hasn't reinforced enough to actually be able to start. Let's get them all back together. There we go, now he started. Oof, so much reinforcement today. A thousand a month, so... That should then take, I'm thinking, 36 months, three years to get our army back. It's not too bad. Uh, Great Britain gets that for 10 years, for defense, siege ability. We'll take for defense, but we shouldn't be at war in the next 10 years. All right, Creeping Death will hang out there because there's a border there. Christian Rayleigh. He is the conquistador. Look at that. It's a sign. All right, diplomats are free. So, Lithuania were caught trying to fabricate claims, which generally means that they want to die. So we're gonna have to fabricate on Polotsk because they were spat out during one of the other wars. Uh, not improve, fabricate on Ostrov. And we will head east away from Poland so they don't get angry at us. We'll fabricate on Kolm. Go for it. So that should go really bloody quick. Alright. New technology, not yet. Soon. Truces for a couple of years, too few seats in Parliament, doesn't matter. What is our parliamentary situation? Uh, 68 so just rebel uprisings Portuguese just ticked up mm. where's the fourth army down there transports I believe uh, wow what's going on there um, yep Lockbold, it's fine. If we have to go to Cape Verde, we will, but I'm not going to park anyone there. Morocco. So is this Moroccan? No, Aragon. I wonder what Aragon's going to get. I'm going to be able to take it all. Oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't realise Morocco was that nasty. These Grenadan separatists? Oh, Spanish peasants. All right. Pima. That will be... Creeping Death. One province. Um, I want to declare war on him, but I can't. Uh, Texas, you are... Probably still at war against Taraskin. Will they leave? No. It was the Zapotec. Alright then. You should be able to. Texas. There we are. Declare war. You have no Cassus Belly. Bloody well should. They're right there. They exist. That's your Cassus Belly. Sorry, Cassus Bellum. Uh, plots has been discovered. No, no. Lost our claim on Amor. Well, I'm not going to go to war with them for ages. The Texan treasure fleet arrived with 161. Cool, thanks. Thanks, boys. Why 
why can you not do it? Come on. Middle Britain wants to attack New England. Cheap iron. Artillery cross down. Yep. Because we've totally got the manpower to take advantage of that. Oh, Cheyenne. Go for it. Battle of Concho. Oh, we were in that war, were we? Okay. If you say so. Yep. New England. No. Brittany. Norway. Canark. So there is another achievement where you need three vassals and two marches for a full house. I'll probably have a go at getting that one. I don't know who it would be. Someone over in Eastern Europe that I don't care about. That I'll keep around forever, I guess. If I take... If I vassalize these guys, I'll turn them into a march. Yeah, why not? And to... Or someone, I don't know. Whoever. Someone over there. Where is our little fleet? Oh, look at him. Good on you, buddy. Oh, you can't even colonize where I live. Apparently, this is a wasteland. Not surprising. Cannot be traversed or colonized. Not surprised. Hmm, that's a bit of an insult that Yamaji land doesn't ever get a mention. Yeah, Wajuk does not go that far north. <laughs> oh, well. Nakuni land, where I was born. Keep you going, little buddy. Is he actually getting support from somewhere? Wow. Ah, uh, Lithuanian Plotsk. Good. How's he not dying? He's got no support. Did I get the tech that he can go to wherever the hell he wants? Because if we did, he should be circumnavigating. I'm pretty sure that's already been gotten. I just didn't get the pop-up. So that's 1661, so it's about the right time to discover Australia. Ah, Glory Road. The lookout had reported signs of dwellings, but the ship had yet to see any natives until at long last. Coastal village in Wurundjeri were sighted. A small force disembarked and it was hospitably received. Something was attributed to the natives' fascination with the men who were taller in stature than them and bearded. The natives were beardless and with some difficulty they managed to communicate that their myths and legends foretold of a time when their bearded gods would come from the sea to visit them. Food and gold were given, which indicates that the province is prosperous and would be of great value to us. Not at the Wurundjeri land, you wouldn't. No gold there. I mean, I gold fields up there, but not the thing you want. Seriously, there's a trade right now. <laughs> Alright. Central Australia, yeah, well, they think they're the centre of Australia. Drunken Explorer, Fruity Liquor, did you bring some back? Right, it's our second Drunk Explorer. It's pretty sure that was supposed to be only available once in a game now. No. Apparently not. Go on, buddy. Discover Cairns and <laughs> Townsville. Alright, pretty sure we've missed the tech pie here. Yep, let's grab it. Go. Alright, so two techs behind there, and four techs behind there. Oof, still got a core though. All this French coring to do. About to lose cake third. Ah, let's actually reduce that. Yeah, still gonna keep going up. Calais. Artois. Artois next, lads. Or not. Alright. Uh, Diego Garcia, Cape Verde, 
Well, let's do it this way. Not Diego Garcia. Mahe or Il Bebo. Okay, third are already going to kick off. So, I'm gonna go for Saris. Go! Alright, the, um, what do you call them? Claims. We claim. What's the right claim, Richard? Oh, no, we're there. I was going to go there. I knew that. Um, dog pillies or Zimgula? It's over there. It's even worse. We'll take dog pillies. Yo, dog pillis. You're ours. And where else? Can't do anywhere else in there. Uh, we can start attacking Muscovy, I guess. Why not? I don't like this anyway, so. Fabricate on. Novgorod, because it doesn't border Sweden. Go. I was actually going to declare war with one of them. Oh, well. With one of the diplomats somewhere. He's going to use one of them to declare war on... What's his face? Over here. That one. So, you know what? Why is this guy standing around? Go find the cities. Heretics of Picardy. Alright, so not Cape Bird, not my Madeira. With the board. Okay. So religious map mode. Oh, Naples are taking a crack at us now. Alright, hey, fancy. Yep, yeah, there we go. Rafael and Cape. Right, that's interesting. Alright, well, anyway, religious map mode. Doing Caceres now. Yeah, not looking too bad. Mostly the right colour. The province is Protestant. State religion is Catholic. Lithuania, who uh, rescued those Protestants, I think. Occupied by peasants, yeah, it's fine. Alright, so. There we go, that one. Rathel and Cape. Cape is going to be a freaking nightmare. Son of a bitch. Get our guys all the way down there to fight that. French separatists. Bastards, can't let them win. Alright. I'll bet. Might have remembered to do the um, autonomy here. Don't know. Whatever. Find the guys. Alright. You. Unmothball. You lads. See how good we were doing. Only 20,000 men left. Alright. I forgot how can you get through that. Oh. Go to Artois. And then we'll sort it out. Alright, so I'm going to take a short break. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll be back again soon. See you later.